Good morning. Welcome to the succulent home. Look at how pretty this arrangement looks on my table in the kitchen. So today is Saturday and I'm going to, let me take you so you can see. I'm gonna take you along to show you my front yard because there's a lot of maintenance that I need to do. So you see like these dead leaves, I need to take that out. But look at how great my donkey tail looks. I've had this donkey tail for about, I would say, a good, almost a good year now because I believe I got it last, during summer, last summer. Not the summer we just had, but the summer before that. So a little over a year and it wasn't as nearly as like long and big. I lost a few that were right here along the way because as you know donkey tail they're like really fragile like when you hold them and stuff like the little things like pop off and stuff but look at how even when they pop off see that little baby right right there it's growing so that's why it like just reproduces itself so that that's like the best thing about donkey's tail so we're gonna pull out these we're gonna use these for the backyard and some of that area but what I'm gonna do is clean clean it up around here you see all these leaves yeah I gotta clean all these leaves up not only in there but over here gotta pull little weeds um, you guys know I don't mind pulling weeds so I gotta clean up all this debris all of these leaves out of these rocks you know I love the whole rock and succulent and cactus combination some some don't like the rocks I do kind of to me it, because I um, do live here in California we do go through drought seasons and because of that it's like low maintenance but we decided to keep these trees because one in summertime they give a lot of shade and they're beautiful when all the leaves are on them but it's a pain in the butt so I think eventually we're gonna cut those trees down but I need to get to this you see all of these leaves build up in my succulents well if you don't clear this out what ends up happening is it creates rot you see that little it just it builds up because what happens is they store water and so if you're not on top of this and like pulling all of the these um, leaves off then it will eventually ruin your succulents and cacti and that's not what you want but look how beautiful these aloes are so hi to midnight midnight Hi, Tweety. Use my little black panther. You my big panther. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna just clean up everything. But look at, look at how these ones are thriving because it's winter, and they thrive in winter time. Look, I've got some over there. I gotta cut those already bloomed. I gotta cut those off. Look, at those right there. So beautiful. But I got so much debris. And so I got to get in here because you can't see, but I got like cat, like a, I got a cactus right there, a little baby one. Okay. Got my little frosties in here. I got my other echeverias in there and they're pubbing. And I need to remove all of this dead, dead leaves and, and, uh, and, and debris. Come spring, I'm gonna revamp this girl. Add some more moss around here. Look at, look at those pretty colors, pretty pink. There goes my fairy castle. Look at how long and stretched out it got. Got the little baby in the back. So cute. This is the big chola, the mama chola. 
look at ever since I planted it it got new new ones going right here right here one is stretching blossoming right there and that on that side and then I got some over here I did add some you guys didn't see me add it but I did add some rock on top of the dirt as a top dressing you know a little bit larger one some river stone just because um, I thought it was it just made it look a little bit better but it's thriving in that pot and I'm glad that I was able to get that these have run amok these aloes right here I gotta get in here and clean up all that man it's a lot of work when you decide to keep trees and I'm telling you they're a thorn in my side look at my fire stick I'm gonna get some more fire stick um, I got this one when it was a little baby it's pretty it's widened out a lot but I want to get some more because I think I want to add a lot more right here but I also want to add it to my backyard tapestry and look at those look at see all these I'm gonna have to get a, like some tweezers get into these guys I think these are the blue aloes. I'm not quite sure. I, I remember the name, but then I don't, it's slipping my mind right now. Look at right here. These are thriving. Look at those. Look at that jade. Look at that orangey. Oh, so beautiful. Oop, I see some Millie Bug infiltration. I'm glad I came out here. I need to save those girls and spray them with alcohol. Like, really? Bad. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh no. Yeah, not good, not good. Look at those little girls right there. Let me see if you turn this around. Look at how pretty. Look at how pretty. So I gotta revamp that. That one's doing fine though. Got my other, the same, the same, um, aloe right here with all those leaves me and my husband he had to cut those on the side if you I do have my front yard succulent garden um, tour up on my channel from the summer of 2018 you'll notice there's a difference here it was a lot more bigger and wider but we share this part see see where that fence ends my neighbor begins so that um, agave was growing so wide out so my husband my husband um, cut it on the sides which it's okay but I rather have that right there in the middle I think it just would look better and then it's pubbing right there these always thrive in the front they just went they just went well when it came to being in this soil and I'm so proud of them these are two different ones, as you can tell, because of the colors. But yeah, I need to get all up in here. See, take, need to take all of that out. So you just lift it. Here, let me just show you real quick. So you can see a little bit. So I'm not gonna be able to record the whole time while I'm doing it. But just so you get a gift. Ay, ay, ay. There you go. So you just would lift, like if you are if you have some in the ground and you have a tapestry you're working with, whether you're dealing with rocks or not, you just wanna make sure there's no d leaves or debris around because that, again, can cause harm to your succulents from growing and um, thriving. And you want them to multiply. And so if you want them to multiply, then you're gonna wanna make sure that you're doing the maintenance that you need to make. And what I do too is, um, because they stretch and I want them to, I don't keep the rocks so close to them on underneath. See, I don't, you know, we have the the weed little tarp down there, but there's no rocks. And then I, what I usually do is as it continues to stretch, I pull the rocks back. I pull the rocks back and I put them into another place of the yard so they can continue to have room to grow out. So yeah, that's, that's what you wanna do. You want to continue to, you know, um, just clean up your, take the time when there's no rain, like I am doing today, and I'm going to make sure that I take care of these girls before the next big rain comes. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how I maintain 
my um, front yard succulent garden. I've actually let it go for uh, probably too many too many months just a, about two months right after fall and all the leaves falling usually I do a little bit at a time but I haven't done anything since fall and so now I'm, I'm just gonna get to it because the more the rain starts to come I need to make sure that these leaves that surround my succulents don't cause any more damage and honestly it's kind of just gross so what I do and what you're going to want to have on hand while you're maintaining such a big um, section of succulents in ground. I'm not talking about potting. I'm talking about in ground um, succulent gardens. Now I have a little bit more experience with this just because I've had this garden for three years now. So I, I'm a little bit more um, knowledgeable as far as how my yard works with these succulents. So what I usually do is I have a little bowl. I use this little drainer and um, or a drainer. This I mean you can use whatever. I don't use this every single time because I actually just got this during summer for an arrangement. But I'm going to use it today for any like um, succulent leaves or any succulents that I cut off that I want to make an arrangement out of or propagate. So this is why I, you want to have one of these on hand while you do it. Um, I also have, um, you're also going to want one of your, um, you know, shovels, so that way, um, I actually just got this, so I'm going to use this because it's narrower, and I also got this one, which is my oldie but goodie, but um, this is to dig maybe out a bigger succulent. That's only if I, if I feel like I need to. And make sure you have your shears on hand because you're going to need them to cut. So um, you could use one pair or you can use two. And I also have this brush because, as you know, there's a lot of debris. And you just want to, like, brush or, you know, kind of take some of the dirt off of some of your succulents. Now, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to focus too much on this part. Um, unless it's really necessary, I'll probably use these more for the ones that are in the pots. Like I said, I have a big section I showed you earlier, and you've probably seen um, my succulent garden video tour in, um, in summer of 2018 last year. And so um, you can go see how, how big it is because it is a big section. Now you're also gonna want a garbage can, okay? This is a pretty good sized garbage can because I know I'm gonna fill this up. I lay it down just so it's easy for me to just throw it in, um, throw the leaves as I'm going in to this container. It just makes it so much more easier. So I'm just gonna start in this little section. Preferably, you pretty much don't want to, um, build a succulent garden where there's like trees over it just because you don't want to have to deal with this but me and my husband were going back and forth in regards to if we wanted those trees I didn't want them he wanted them and then he didn't want them I wanted them so it was like going back and forth but I think we're so now I'm going to just move to this section right here What do you guys usually do on your um, Saturday morning? Do you guys do yard work or cleaning around the house? Or do you guys do family fun day? I think it just depends on what we have going on. But I love days where I don't have anything going on. And it's just, I can do this. Because I enjoy doing this, honestly. It's like, my time to like just not do anything, but do my hobby, what I like to do. So, look at all of that nastiness. And that's why you want, that's why I tilt the garbage down like that, so it's just easy for me to just throw in there. Because believe me, this garbage gets filled up real quick. How's the 
weather been where you guys are? What's Sweden, unseen nature, what's Sweden's um, weather like uh, during this month of January and like February? What do you guys experience over there? Kind of curious. I don't know. If you guys don't follow Unseen Nature, go check her out. She has a tarantula. Oh, every time she shows that, I get the queeby jeebies. But it's, I mean, I think it's cool. But man, I'm like, oh, you brave, girl. You real brave. <laughs> yeah, I like, I like her channel. She always has, her and her husband are funny together. And they have good chemistry, you can tell on camera. So this is what you would do. Now I'm getting closer to the succulents. And as you can see, when I was pulling up one of the, um, when I was pulling up the leaves, this jade piece came off, which tells me it wasn't all the way in. Look at that, that whole thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, remember again, you have that bowl, you're just gonna put that on the side like so and keep on working, keep on working. I'm gonna bring you a little bit closer so you can see exactly. I'm gonna just bring you a little bit closer on this side so you can see me, what I'm, what I'm talking to you about with these leaves or what you wanna do next okay so the yeah so now you can see in a better way you still want to be careful I, I usually do step by step and move certain rocks that are in my way I'll put them back there but um, this is what you want to make sure you're getting at is see where my succulent is and everything if I do not if we don't remove this, talking to you too, if you guys don't do this to your plants, they will cause them to stunt their growth and or rot. So you're going to want to get right in there. Look at all that leaf buildup. This is what causes rot because you see the mud, the water traps itself in that, and then that's what's going to ruin your succulents and cacti so that's why we have to maintain this especially if you got leaves I can't stress that to you enough because you don't want to ruin your beautiful succulents or your collection so I'm also going to remove some of these rocks that have been real snug next to these plants because um, I want them to start, you know, growing in bunches, not so much like leggy. You see how leggy this is? So what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cut it, okay? Because it is still winter, and we are going to be getting a lot of rain still probably. Again, I don't trust the news right now because our weather changes from one day to the next. So I'm not gonna cut this cause I don't want rot. So I'm not gonna like cut, cut, cut her and then reset her, not at this time. I do see some of these, her, um, cause it's getting so heavy. Some of these are just barely hanging on. So I'm going to just take these off, the luscious ones and put them in the tin so I can propagate them later. I don't know if you can see that. But if you see how like some of them, like this one is just totally like barely hanging. See how easy it was for it to fall off? So it's just because it's, it's heavy. And what I'm gonna do is just get some of those. I don't really wanna mess too much with it. But um, again, I'm not going to, unless I, I take it out right now, and I can, take it out right now and you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna do that I'm just gonna take this whole thing out because it is completely leggy it had a whole root system 
but do you see it? What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all of these, keep the top because if you look closely, do you see that little, I don't know, can you see it right there? It's a little baby right there. And so I'm probably just going to take the, the top part and just set it in a pot, but not water it. I'm not going to water it. So um, that way it doesn't, you know, ruin it by, you know, getting raw again. And I feel like these last few videos, because of the water, I've been doing a lot of videos that incorporate me saying rot, 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 rot. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I said rot a whole lot of times in that, in that video. So this is what I'm going to continue to do. I have another one here. See how leggy it is as well. So I feel like, um, look at look at all these pretty leaves though that are just falling off. They're so good. Just put it in there. This is leggy and there's no babies connected, so I'm just gonna pull this out. Just gonna pull it out and I'm gonna put it in a I'm gonna put it in a pot too which makes it easier to get on this side as well. You also want to get some scissors on hand too. I'm going to use one of the shears, but do you see this? Do you see that that's my, um, my um, weed barrier? I'm either going to relay it down because it blew up, and I think that's what I'll do. I think it blew up from maybe heavy winds or just from, you know, just it just started shifting. So I'm just going to lay it back down right there. If you if you weren't able to lay it down, you could have just cut it. That's kind of what I could have done. But I'm just going to lay it back down around this area and continue to do what I'm doing. If you can see, I also have a frosty right here. And I also have a jade plant right here. As well as the, oh, I forget the name of this one. Oh, it's one of my favorites. So um, let me continue to do this and then I'll update. I'll keep you posted. We'll, we'll flip to another section. This is the next section that I'm working on, which is right next to that little area right there. It just flows. Those are so beautiful, but they've, okay, so you know that these ones grow the most during winter. They just flourish. And then in summer, they hibernate, basically. So um, they've grown so much that you can't see, but there is succulents all in there. And I think I showed you a little bit when I did the little tour in the beginning. But I need to go in here and clean all that out. And if you can see right here, I got cactus that you can't even see, but that's in there. So that's why I got to do more work. And so I'm going to go ahead and let you see me do this just so you can get motivated and also just kind of see how I do it. Sometimes it's nice to see something different in the succulent community. I always like to do potting videos, but I also like to do this part of, of my succulent hobby. So I'm still working a little bit more in this section. trying to get the camera right. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out that jade too that was right there. And I'm gonna reset maybe some other succulents. Till then, I'm gonna just put some rocks back. 
I do have a drip system that's in here. Um, if you can see right here, do you see me going like that to this thing right here? That's one of the drip systems, but it's completely off right now. And we have it very, a very low drip during summertime. So it doesn't even drip a heavy drip during summer. And that's just because, you know, obviously you don't want to do too much water. And this dirt that is in here right now holds a lot of water. So, but again, my, my, I've never experienced them being um, in an overwatered state from um, being in here in this soil or dirt or mud, whatever you want to call it. Okay. So I cleaned up this whole area. I'm only going to leave Frosty and this one right here, and that is it. Now I'm going to move to this section. I want you to come look at this right here. And do you see that? You can't see any of those. So I'm going to just try to clean up the leaves and I'm not going to cut um, those. I'm just going to clean them up just so that way and maybe some of these ones that are real leggy, maybe I'll remove those for right now too, until spring comes and then I can replant and reposition some of these. Yeah, this can be a real pain. Okay, I want to just check in with you. I am finished with the section that I started. It is already 4 o'clock p.m. I started this, um, you know, cleaning and revamping during winter, succulent garden, front yard edition at 11. I'm so exhausted. So I got to right there. That's it. So right here, I, I, I had to pull out some um, aloes that were right there just because it was so bunched up that they were causing more damage at the very bottom because they were so bunched up. So I reset those. They're not fresh cutting. They're all rooted. I just reset them and moved some of the rocks away. This is the section I didn't get to, so let me just back up. Okay, so 
this is where I stopped. So I did all the way. <laughs> it was, and it's it's sad to say all the way because it's really not a long section, but it was a lot of work. I still I stopped right here because I still have to do all of that. Not to mention this part all right here. Look at look at all that leaves and junk and stuff. This is the bucket I filled. Okay, so let me back up. See that? That's a lot of dang leaves for just a little section, okay? That is a lot of leaves. It's half of that garbage can. But as you can see, look. Look at how pretty it looks. I cleaned up. I took the cactus that was right there that you couldn't see. I took it out. And now you could see those little girls down there. Those were the ones with the pups. Took all of the leaves out that were all right here. Cleaned them out of the leaves that was right there. And as you can tell, all out of the rocks. I took those um, one Echeveria's out that you've seen. I left this one right here and then the Frosty. Those are the only two I left right there. Um, and then that's it. And then I made sure that all the rocks weren't all the way up to like the, the stem. Um, and same thing right here. I just, too much rocks close to it is not letting them grow in the fast pace that I would like them to as well as it's not helping in regards to keeping them healthy. So until the next video, I hope that this inspires you to not just pot in pots, but also utilize the, you know, if you have a house or if you have a piece of like land um, that you want to do a tapestry or a succulent garden in your front yard or backyard. Until the next video, I'll continue to keep you posted and coming along with my front yard revamp. God bless. Bye.